Okay, so 14 is writing quadratic functions and models. So here is a graph, okay? And it says write a quadratic function for this parabola. Okay, what two points does it give me on this? At the vertex and another point, yes? So what form do you think I'm going to write this in? In what form? In vertex form, beautiful. If it gives you the vertex, I'm going to put it in vertex form, okay? So what is vertex form? How about what goes before the parentheses here? A. It's just plus. So, I can fill in two pieces of information so far. Yes? Okay. I can fill in my H and my K. So, I can say Y equals A X minus 1 squared minus 2. Yes? Okay. Now, that point they give us is important, because do I know what my A is? No. So if I use this point and plug it into the X and Y, I can solve for A, and then I can rewrite my equation with the A and with the vertex, okay? So I'm going to take this point, step two is to take that point, plug it in. So I'm gonna say two equals A, three minus one squared minus two, okay? Um, so 3 minus 1 is 2, right? Mm -hmm. 2 squared is 4. So I get 2 equals 4a minus 2. Do you see what I did there? I did most of that in our head we talked about. Okay. Then we add 2 to both sides, yes? And you get 4 equals 4a. So a equals what? 1. One. So when I write this in my final vertex form, I'm going to say y equals x minus 1 squared minus 2. I don't have to put anything, it's just 1, yes? Okay, is that simpler to you? I'm telling you, this is very simple. Okay, so first you got to decide what form does it go in. Okay. We're going to look at two more. The last one is the one that takes the longest amount of time because it's going to be putting it in standard form. It is, I'm sorry. But if it's in vertex form or if it's in um, intercept form, it's much easier. Okay? So vertex form. If it has a vertex, it's in vertex form. Okay? You plug the vertex in, you plug in the other point they give you. They will give you another point. So my question, because yes. well, I couldn't see what you were doing. Plugged in uh, 3, 2 for the X and the Y. For the X and the Y, so and that I can solve for A. Okay. Okay? And then once you get what A is, sometimes it's not going to be 1, then there would actually be an A in that one. Right now, since it's just 1, I don't have to put that out in front. Okay? Beautiful. Now let's look at the next one. Tell me what? Tell me what form should I put this in? There are three forms, standard, vertex, and point intercept. Intercept, because I have two intercepts right here, yes? Here's an intercept, here's an intercept. Intercept form looks like what? Y equals A, X minus P, X minus Q, yes? Okay. So from there, what am I going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? P minus Q. Well, does it matter which one I put in, negative 1 or 4, or where I put it? No. No. So I'm going to say Y equals A, X plus 1, because remember it's opposite of that sign, X minus 4. Now what do you think I need to do? <clears throat> okay, I'm waiting. Right, right. But look at your graph. What else do you have? Oh, you have, a, you have another point. Three, you have another point. You can plug those in. I can plug this in. So anywhere there's an X, I'm plugging in a 3. Anywhere there's a Y, I'm plugging in a 2. 
So I'm going to say 2 equals a 3 plus 1, 3 minus 4. Yeah? Okay. So if I do the math behind that, what is 3 plus 1? Four. What's 3 minus 4? So 4 times negative 1 is? And then times a. So I'm going to get 2 equals negative 4a. Okay? From there, negative one half. yeah, negative one half. So I divide by negative four, a equals negative one half. So this time, a is something. And that would make sense because my parabola faces down, so I needed a negative in front, okay? So you're going to get y equals negative one half, x plus one, x minus four. Yes. How's that? Simple? Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the two easiest ones. Third one's not hard either, it just takes more time. Okay, because the third one's going to be in standard form. Because in standard form, it's um, ax squared plus bx plus c. It's just going to take longer because I got to get it all the way there. Okay? You like what? Crystal. Oh. <laughs> is, this, is this example? This is example two. Okay, so if you know your three forms and you look at a graph and can read, what if it's on? If it gives you vertex or if it gives you intercepts, okay, you can put it straight into that form. Makes it pretty simple. Okay, um, pretty simple, I would say. The last one is like this. Okay. Write a quadratic function in standard form for the parabola that passes through the following points. Negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 4, and 2, 6. So when you see a list of points, they're probably asking for it in standard form. Now, the equation for standard form, okay, is y equals ax squared, right, plus bx plus c, okay? So that is uh, what we want it to become, okay? We have to substitute in, okay? Here's what we're going to do. This is where substitution comes in. This is why we have to learn substitution, okay? We have x's, y's, yes, a, b's, and c's. We can set up three separate equations with negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 4, and 2, 6. We can set three separate equations by plugging those numbers in, okay? When we plug those numbers in, we're going to get equations with A's, B's, and C's in them now set equal to something, and then we're going to have to do elimination and all that fun stuff. Now, do you see why I said this takes time, okay? It is. <laughs> so I'm going to do a first equation, and I'm going to say negative 3 <coughs> equals negative 1... Um, hmm. What is negative? We're going to write it this way. A times, I'm going to write it all the way out so that you can see it. Plus B times negative 1 plus C. Okay? So this is how you would write the first equation with this point here. So are you writing three separate equations? I am. Okay. My second equation, okay, I would write it as negative 4 equals a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. Okay. My third equation I would write as 6 plus you equals a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. Now, once we write all those out, we can simplify all of them, okay? So the green one is going to end up saying negative 3. What is negative 1 squared? 1. And 1 times a is? And then I have negative b plus c, okay? I simplified that equation. Does that make sense? The blue one is going to be beautiful for us. Okay? The blue one simplifies to say what? Negative 4. Negative 4. Equals. Equals. 
Zero. Zero plus zero plus, plus C. C. So C equals negative four. Um, okay? Which is beautiful. Sometimes nice. it's not going to do that, and then you're going to have to do that whole thing where you would do elimination, you know? Yeah. Elimination? Now, uh, yeah, elimination. Uh, Substitution is coming in here. Okay? So then here I get six. What's two squared? So I have, and then I have, and then I have, beautiful. Okay, so now, what do you think I'm going to do with the green and the red equation? No, the green and the red. <coughs> Oh, and you just uh, multiply. Um, add two. So you're gonna multiply the green one by two, exactly so you can get rid of the six and the red one. How about if you just subtract one from the other because they both have just C's in them? Oh. Do you see what I'm saying? That works too. So let me just say, <laughs> let's subtract this one from this, just so I can move it over here. So I'm gonna say uh, subtraction. I'm gonna say six <coughs> equals. 4a plus 2b plus c. So I'm going to get negative 9, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get negative 3a, and I'm going to get negative 3b. Yes? Can we put the green on this one? You could, yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter which way, whichever way you do. So you're going to get something like that. Yay. Okay? Do I have an answer? Well, is that an answer or is that just part of That's just us simplifying one of the equations. But I have a problem now, don't I? I do have a problem. So I don't have another equation to work with. And because... <coughs> what happens if you plug in... Can you do for the negative 9 and negative 3 Yes, why don't you do this? What if we did this? What if we plug 4 in over here? So that you get 6 equals 4a plus 2b <coughs> minus 4c. Minus 4. And then I would add 4 to both sides, yes? And you would end up getting... Equals 4a plus 2b. And equals 4a plus 2b. Can you get 5 equals 4a plus 2b? You get 4a plus 2b equals 10, yep. Okay. What if I plug the 4 in for c here too? So that you have. Negative 3 equals A minus B minus 4, right? And then I add 4 to both sides. And you get, yeah, 1 equals A minus B. Now, I can multiply the green equation by 2. So that the B's will cancel. So you're going to get 2 equals 2a minus 2b, right? And you're going to add those together so that you get 12 equals 6a, and a is going to equal 2. Yeah. Then you're going to go back to one of your original equations and plug those in, yes? <clears throat> or plug it into whatever equation. Um, so you get a equals 2, c equals negative 4, okay? And I'm going to go back um, to the equation. Where I plug in to right here. So what's the green equation? Yeah, you just plug it into the green equation so it says 1 equals 2 minus b. Subtract 2, right? Negative 1 equals negative b, so b equals 1. So you have all of your solutions right here. Now, 
I know what my A, my B, and my C are, and I can plug them into my quadratic equation. Well, we still ain't done. No. So your quadratic equation should say y equals 2x squared plus b, or plus x, um, minus 4. Yes, I told you this one's rough. Can you? Standard. AX squared plus BX oh. plus C. So I plugged the 2 in for the A in this equation to get 2X squared, 1 in for the B to get X, and then negative 4 in for the C. Okay. So basically, you're just trying to find A, B, and C and yep. put it all together. So that you can put it back in there. Mm -hmm. Correct. 